Now that we've made all these changes to our piece of music, let's save it again onto our disc. So up to Menu File, click on Save Song, and there you can see that's where we last saved it. The name's already there. I don't have to type it again. Click on OK. Now, this time, it'll come up with a message saying, File exists. This means the file already exists on your disc, and it's asking you whether you want to delete the old version or put a new version on top of the old version and make the old one a backup. What I suggest you do is click on Rename Always, and you'll always be left with a backup version on your disk. So that's now saving it. So we have two versions on the disk, the old version and the current version. It's telling us how much we've got left. Thanks very much. Right. Now, what we want to do before we move in on to the next topic, which is polyphony, is actually initialize the computer again. This is useful for all sorts of things. Um, you can obviously, there are several ways of doing this. You could turn the computer off and start all over again. That would take quite a long time. You could click on New Song in Menu File if you wanted to. This would actually bring you back to a state where you wouldn't have the named MIDI channels or the correct printer adaption or the MIDI click. So there's another way of doing that, doing that. Putting your program disk, click on Load Song. Let's go back to my program disk. And Reload just by clicking on it, the auto load song. Click on OK. So there we are, literally back to square one. 